Action here or what? What's yeah. up? Hello, yeah, This Hi. is Ed. Hello, how you doing? This is Devin for Decoy Music. Do a little interview. Alright. So, um, I guess tell everyone what you do in the band. Alright. Uh, I'm Ed, and I sing In Your Demise. Um, just Kate, um, let's see, um, for people that don't know, I mean, they could Google it, or if they actually keep up their band, they should, they'd probably know this, but for people that don't know, or just gotten you guys, um, could you tell everyone exactly, like, um, how you came to join the band, I guess? Uh, yeah. Other than, <laughs> unless it's not, like, bad or anything. Uh, no. no. Uh, basically, uh, they, their last singer departed in, uh, Oz, what are you, what, what you saying? That's what I'm saying about... Oh, our old singer was an absolute cunt. Not from me. Um, yeah, in like 2009, I'd say like June, July, uh, I was going to become a, a professional hairdresser, aka Gaylord. And, um, <laughs> Haircuts are tight, man. Yeah, I was going to do that, and I got into a hairdressing college and did all that, paid a load of money, paid like a grand to get in and stuff, like all my shit. And then I got a call from Stu saying, do you want to join your demise? And that day I was actually <coughs> I was meeting Talby, the drummer, in like in where I live because he was just around on a separate thing. And I got a call and then I ended up joining your demise. And I was expecting to do a few little tours, you know, a few one-off shows, a couple of fests. And then ended up being a bit of like a full-time job, really. So yeah, it's good. That's how I joined. That's how I joined. Funny little tidbit. Whenever I saw you guys, I, was, I used to always just like buzz my hair. And I saw a haircut and I was like, I'm not thinking about getting a haircut like that. Yeah. I actually see someone, it looks good. Yeah. I start cutting my hair like that. It's the best haircut you can have. It's classy. Keep right. it neat on the sides, Part styling on top. on top. Yeah, exactly. So this isn't your first band, right? No, unfortunately. What were your previous musical endeavors uh, like? Okay, my previous music, musical endeavors include a shit metal band. Uh, I was in with all my friends, and I didn't like it, but we accidentally did all right, and yeah, I was in that for a while. Ended up getting kicked out, I guess you would say, because I uh, started a fight on someone at one of our shows. They didn't like it, but you know, I didn't care anyway because I didn't want to be in the band. So I've done that, and then I joined Telby, our drummer's <laughs> other band, uh, well, old band called Last Witness for a bit. Didn't play any shows because Telby ended up joining Your Demise. And that's about it, really. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so your guys' new material marks a more melodic, like accessible sound in comparison yeah. to the previous material. Yeah. Was that due to you joining, or was that just like a natural progression as the uh, band, like a more like I guess cohesive? This is what we want to sound like now. It wasn't. It wasn't like a, yo, we want to sell more records and sell out. I guess you would say it was just like a, in the before I joined the band. Apparently, it was very one-sided. The singer, the old singer, wrote everything, dictated everything, so no one really had a choice. But when we came to write the new record, it was everyone wrote. Like I play guitar, tell we play guitar. Like we all wrote the songs together, and like all of our favorite bands and stuff are like. Well, my favorite band in the world is like New Found Glory, Last Jaw, American Nightmare, and stuff like that. So all, all good bands. Yeah. So it was kind of like, That's and like it, it goes the same for. Uh, Everyone else in the band, like No Effects, Bad Religion, Ranted, shit like that. So it's just kind of writing what we want to write, really. So I guess it came out more of a, a melodic, accessible record, but it wasn't like out of any sort of like. It wasn't like. It wasn't. Hey, we need to sound like this now. Nah, it wasn't pre planned or anything. It was just what we wrote. And to be honest, we're happier playing songs that sound like that because it's more what we want to sound like rather For sure. than. I like, at least to me, like when I hear like hardcore bands, like. I guess like choruses and stuff like yeah. clean vocal like stick your guns does it. It yeah. reminds me almost more of like melodic like nineties punk. Exactly. Like, like stuff, Pennywise. And yeah, like, or like Bad Religion. Or just stuff like that's what it makes me think of. This it's guy's favorite like... sort of music, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, like yeah, like uh, like yeah, like basically early. That's basically what we were like. We just love nineties punk and yeah. shit like that, like Pennywise and stuff like that. So you like, guys aren't using like auto tune and shit, so it doesn't nah. sound completely like exactly. Ugh. Um. Let's see, how have the new songs been going over live in comparison to the older like older ones? Surprisingly, we thought, well, obviously being new to the band and shit, it was like, oh, I don't know. Uh, when we broke the record, we were like, I don't know how it's going to sound. To be honest, I don't really care. We thought people were going to be like, oh, you're not writing mosh breakdowns and doing all that shit anymore. Yeah. But like, it's come across, it's come over really well. Like, we barely play any old stuff anymore. Like, we play like one or two 
Old think? songs, yeah. We played like one, one old tonight. Yeah, yeah, one old song tonight. And when we did our headliner, like the new stuff was going over so much better than the old stuff, which is cool because it means either people are psyched on the new stuff and we've got a whole new set of fans. For sure. So, you know. It's, I can see us like being that, like, it's the first record that you guys said, like, was like cohesive and that like, yeah. you're a part of. I, you know, I want to play the, like, newer songs. Exactly. More. And the way we looked at it is like the kids we used to be is. Your demise as it is now is first record, so yeah. it's kind of like we're starting. That as we've been, as we've said, like we're kind of starting again. Like this is the first record, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, it's going over good. Going over um, good. let's get that question. Um, what drew you to heavy music, and I guess like more in particular, like hardcore? Uh, don't know really. Um, <laughs> just like in like in the marsh. What bands? Being angry. Uh, I don't know. I just. I liked it. Uh, my favorite band in the world when I was like growing up was when I was like thirteen. Well, actually, I could tell you a story. Uh, story time, in, everyone. Uh, there's a magazine in England called Krang, I think it was. You might, yeah, I remember. Yeah, you know, Cole Krang. Chamber was on the cover a lot. Yeah, you and in when I was like I, when I was like eleven or twelve, I bought it and Newfound Glory had a poster in it, and Chad Gilbert was wearing an American Nightmare T-shirt. And Dude's it was down the for film, the core. The film script one, and that's like one of my favorite shirts of all time. And when I was 11, I was like, that shirt's cool. I don't know who this band is. So I checked them out, ended up like an American Nightmare. And then I got into Glassjaw, who they're not strictly a hardcore band, but they have that, that they was, have those roots and stuff. Glassjaw is actually the first, like, I grew up in Alaska and they were the first, like, out of state, like, hardcore, like, yeah. whatever screamo show I saw. Everything you ever wanted to know about science yeah. is, like, my favorite band of all time. And they took American Nightmare on tour. So when I was, like, 13, I was like, Glass jaw, American <laughs> Nightmare. That's what I want to sound like. And then from then, obviously, you hear other bands through liking yeah. those bands. Getting this and then record book, yeah. getting the thank yous. And then you, and t-shirts. also where I'm from in Brighton, there was a, uh, there, mm-hmm. there was at the time, there still is like a load of good hardcore bands. Like there was a band called Turn Cold. There's a band called Abandoned Ship and like uh, the Permanent and shit like that. And always would go to those shows and stuff. So I just always liked it. Really. So Are there any like? Do you notice any significant differences from like the European hardcore scene yeah. in comparison to the US hardcore scene? Uh, England, I wouldn't class as Europe. Europe is funny. Europe, if you play a breakdown, they will mosh. It's like you could be any band in the world. As long as there's a breakdown, they will mosh. They just lose their shit. England's a bit more like... I would say England's a bit more like America. Like you... You have to win them over. Mm-hmm. You have to if if you're not in if they're not into the band, they won't do anything. They won't watch you. American kids like to cross their arms a lot and just exactly. kind of stand there and like. So I mean, me. I know I don't know. In America, you seem to you have to work harder, but I like playing out here because kids are, seem to be a bit more open to it rather than England. Like they won't just immediately like be like nah. They yeah. will actually watch your band and take it in and be like yeah, this is cool. This is cool. So yeah, so, I like it here. I love playing in America. Um. You guys jump on a lot of, like, I guess, like, to me, like, more metalcore tours. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys ever feel like the Black Sheep or, like, does it really, like, not really matter? I wouldn't, say, like, whatever. I wouldn't say Black Sheep. I'd say more Odd One Out. Like, first tour in the States, we did, like, to be honest, every tour I've done in this band since I joined has been a bit out of place. Like, my first ever tour was with Misery Signals. Ben and that was, that, that was, like, when I was 14, Malice and Magnum Heart, banger of a record, man. I fucking love that. But It's uh, like when, like, my opinion, metalcore was like awesome. It's like right around that era. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I know. That was my, I know, I know, that's I know, when I got into metalcore. Like, I know what you mean. That's what, what I'm mean. still super like, into. Integri- like, To Die For came out and shit like that. Like, Integrity. Yep. I was like, that's cool. But, um, yeah, so, like, then we did that and then we've done Devil Wears Prada in Europe and America. Mm-hmm. But just because we're friends, like, they asked us to do that European tour. We're like, fuck it, why not? And then we became tours really a tour. Yeah, tours a tour. And like to be honest, we did it out here, and they're the big one of the biggest bands in America. Oh, for sure. So we were like, fuck it, let's do it. So we did that. We did the Ghost Inside, and you well, obviously yeah, we were there. That was, a cool tour. that was a cool tour. That was a bit more us oriented. We did in England. We've done a day to remember. We've done. We did uh, that Never Say Die tour with Parkway Drive and Bleeding Through. Like all of our tours, we do. It's just like we don't want to be that band who just do hardcore tours. Oh, for sure. We want to branch out and just you know. That's one thing I like about like like terror like. They still like it might like keep it real, but like yeah. they do lots of other exactly, tours. Exactly, that's how we that's how we want to do it. Like, I mean, it's cool playing to like you know hardcore kids because that's what it started yeah. off like. But you know, there's a there's a point where you just want to be like, yeah, let's play to other people and do other shit. So For sure, yeah. All yeah, right, uh, not black sheep, odd one out. <laughs> um, I guess like just like who are some of like bands <coughs> in hardcore or like music in general that like 
I guess you're super psyched on right now. At the moment? Yeah. Uh, I always like asking this. Oh, no, this I'm is curious. curious. I like, curious. This, I like this question. I like this question. Obviously, America Wise is Trapped Under Ice, Dead and Path. Dead uh, and Path fucking sweet. Dead and Path are cool. Um, I haven't heard their new record yet. Um, I heard a clip of it on on in. Twitter through yeah. someone and it sounded fucking heavy. Dead and Path, the same. Fa- new favorite hardcore bands around at the moment. Uh, Foundation, cool. That new record um, now. He's streaming. Moment. Yeah, I want to hear it. So some kid inside was talking to me about it. He's like, dude, it's so good. Is it good? That's oh, what I, he oh, said. Yeah. Like That new Pulling Teeth track, have you heard that yet? No. Nah. Fuck. Literally, I listen to it every day at the moment. It's so good. Um, and then in England, we got like a band called Breaking Point. <laughs> which is his band. <laughs> Sick band. Guys. <laughs> there you go, then. I lurk around on the internet. Great point. Uh, there's a band in England who are pretty much my favorite band in England at the moment. And they're called Basement. They're not like a they're not like a hardcore band. Yes. They're more like a they kind of sound like movie life, hot water music, title fight s. Movie life. Yeah, movie like, life sweet. Movie life is like one of my favorite bands ever. They're signed to run for cover. Yeah, they're signed to run for cover over here, and they're a fucking amazing. That's an awesome I, label. I love that band, and if there's any band you should check out at the moment, it would be that band because I fucking I love them. I love them so much. All right. Well, yeah. I think that's it. Any I guess final shout outs you want to uh, make? Final shout out. Yo, this goes out to my man, Big O, the Osborne, 2011. <laughs> that's not, that's, that's Ben Saker. Ben well, Saker either way, this guy's going to get now. <laughs> Internet sensation. Yeah, that's Already it. Already am. Well, uh, thank you for the interview. Decoy says thank you, I guess. Yeah, thank Just you very much. Yes. Decoy. That's what's up. <laughs> no, I can...